it's incredible for what uh, AI can do and how AI can be uh, used, exploited by criminals. And uh, as usual, we are lagging. As usual, uh, when you say we, we're talking about law enforcement. Law enforcement. Law enforcement. We just are now to use some capabilities that AI offer. Uh, you also have to understand something important that I also explain to my fellow colleagues. AI and countering uh, bad AI need um, technology. Mm. Technology has a high price. So while probably capital cities, Rome, Paris, uh, I don't know, uh, Madrid, so the central law enforcement offices may have this kind of capability in terms of money to buy technology that support their investigation on AI, provinces usually, they don't have the same amount of finances in order to buy one, ten, hundred licenses. Those platforms that support now uh, countering AI are super expensive. Uh, 30, 40, 50, 60,000, one license, one year. So more and more I see that what we have to think is uh, to a public-private uh, conversation, public-private relationship, mm -hmm. partnership that may support the police and law enforcement in doing some jobs using the right technology. So, yeah, this is what I see.